A funeral home director held accountable in court today. Before being sentenced to four years in prison, Sheree McClinn faced the families she was convicted of taking money from. We first told you about the trouble she was in back in February. Tonight, Jordan Burgess follows up with why this may not be the end of it. Many of Sheree McClinn's victims couldn't make it to her sentencing. Instead, it was their family members who filled the courtroom. And when she found out that this happened, my mom was literally devastated. The former funeral home director apologized to those families for taking their pre-burial money. She was then sentenced to four years in prison. I never dreamed that I would not be there to provide the services you requested. I hope someday you may be able to forgive me. In your heart. Prosecutors say in all, McLean stole more than $240,000 from more than 60 people who prepaid for funeral expenses at her Gettysburg Avenue funeral home before it went out of business. After serving four years in prison, she'll have to get a job and pay them back or else she could face 19 years behind bars. We'll be more pleased once the restitution starts coming in and these families start getting back money that they had scrimped and saved over the years. McLean said the practice of taking the pre-burial fund started before she took over the family-run funeral home, indicating it was done by her father, C.J. McLean, and her sister, former Dayton Mayor Ryan McLean. But when we asked prosecutors about it, they said all evidence was presented to the grand jury, which only returned charges against Cherie. Beverly Combs told us her aunt paid $5,600 for a funeral she never got. She made the trip from Indianapolis to be in court. She questioned McLean's apology. I'm not sure that it was really remorse. I hope it was. In some cases, the victims have already passed away. Their families with less money now to pay a second time for their funeral. That's how you leave, the impression you want to leave, the, you know, the songs you want, the, the people you want, the flowers you want, all these things. These people had thought about, they had planned out, and that's how they wanted to be remembered. And unfortunately now, a lot of them aren't able to do those things. Now again, McLean told the families in court she will try to pay them back, but she owes more than $240,000. If she doesn't pay that back, she could get more time in prison, up to 19 years. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.